I'm Corinne Reynolds. I'm a staff cardiologist here at Dove Lewis. Um, an interesting case I saw recently is a seven-year-old male castrated Labrador who um, had a history of playing in the on the beach and then became lethargic and started having some diarrhea and just feeling ill. He saw his regular veterinarian and they um, suspected salmon poisoning because of his recent time on the time on the beach and his fever. And they started him on doxycycline for to treat that. He continued to decline and continued to have fever. So presented to us a couple of weeks later where he was found to have a a fever, thrombocytopenia, and um, just feeling, feeling very ill. Um, we did thoracic radiographs, abdominal ultrasound, both of those were normal. Um, we did a urine culture that was normal. His CBC and chemistry panel just showed some mild liver enzyme elevations. Um, we did blood cultures, which um, eventually did grow, grow bacteria that could have been contaminant or part of, of his process. He then got an echocardiogram that showed vegetative lesions on his aortic and mitral heart valves with significant regurgitation from both of those valves. So his diagnosis was bacterial endocarditis, which um, in dogs um, often has a grave prognosis because it is difficult to get antibiotics to penetrate um, the, heart, the lesions on the heart valves and the bacteria causes significant damage to those heart valves while we're um, getting those lesions sterilized. So sometimes even if we can control the infection, the damage to the heart valves is so severe that, um, that the patients have heart failure that's hard to treat. So, um, so dogs have about a median survival time of about 70 days after getting that diagnosis. So he was treated with um, antibiotics, with, with enrofloxacin and, um, and um, ampicillin. Um, he was then, he was treated for a week on IV antibiotic therapy. Um, so he's treated as an outpatient where we would come in for his infusions daily to get a week's worth of IV treatment. Um, he was then switched to augmentin and enrofloxacin orally and um, he felt better, his fever improved. Uh, a few weeks later, he presented with coughing and lethargy again and was found to have congestive heart failure secondary to his valve lesions. So we started him on furosemide pimobendin for that. Um, and then he felt better again. And um, he is currently um, um, doing really, really well. This is the six month mark. Um, the valve lesions are significantly improved. He only has a small amount of regurgitation through his mitral and aortic heart valve. His heart size has improved, so the dilation of his heart improved. His uh, thrombocytopenia and fever have, have resolved, and he's currently off antibiotics. Um, and we're starting to wean him off of his heart failure medications, and he's doing really well. well.